I'm Chris Smiley with If Americans New. Yet another mass murder by the State of Israel occurred today, as at least 52 Palestinian demonstrators inside of Gaza were killed by Israeli forces from the opposite side of the border fence. More than 2,400 others were also wounded as Israeli soldiers relentlessly fired at protesters. This is the deadliest day for Palestinians since the Gaza siege in 2014. Democracy Now!, an independent American media outlet, had an eyewitness reporting on the ground. Uh, I was at the biggest uh, protest site, which is just east of Gaza City. Uh, there are uh, thousands of people converging on the site, uh, men, women, and children. And uh, it's a really surreal scene. Uh, there are people gathering, uh, mostly young men and boys, up near uh, the border where there, are, there is barbed wire, three sets of barbed wire. And you can see, uh, just a couple of hundred yards away, uh, Israeli soldiers, uh, uh, you know, under these canopies uh, on, on mounds of sand, uh, sometimes in jeeps, uh, and they are picking people off uh, with, uh, snipers are literally picking people off. Uh, I've seen people who weren't even, uh, you know, close to the fence uh, being shot. Uh, most of the people are being shot in the, in the lower extremities, in their legs. Uh, I saw one person shot in the throat. No one is carrying any weapons here. There are no bullets being fired by Palestinians on Israeli soldiers. Uh, there's nothing I have seen that poses any threat uh, to the Israeli military. Um, not a single Israeli soldier has been injured, uh, and yet uh, these killings continue. Uh, well, and they're using these high-velocity sniper bullets, uh, which cause a lot of damage. Um, uh, also, a couple of doctors told me that they're using fragmentation bullets, uh, which uh, break apart upon impact, and they have seen injuries with fist-sized holes uh, in the exit wounds. We were in uh, Shifa Hospital. If you just walk there, I mean, there was a wailing of pain in the orthopedic ward. Uh, one doctor told me that they're creating a, a new generation of cripples. Uh, there's been almost 30 amputations. The faces and the humanity of the victims again aren't being shown on American mainstream media outlets. Here, Palestinian doctor Motasim Al Nono is on duty as he looks at the lifeless body of his brother, Motaz Al Nono, who was murdered by the Israeli snipers. Shahir Al Madun is pictured here with his son. Yesterday was his son's first birthday. Today, his son Abdullah is an orphan. Fadi Abu Salah, a disabled man with no legs, was also shot dead by snipers. Palestinian writer Maryam Barghouti brought up a great criticism of media coverage as she said, quote, Stop calling it a Gaza border. There is no border. Israel has besieged an entire Palestinian city while colonizing the other cities around it. Gaza is not a sovereign state. It is a city under an 11-year-long siege. It's true that it's misleading to say the Gaza border. A border implies sovereignty, but Israel controls the Gaza Strip. It controls its flow of goods, the airspace, the water, natural resources, and it has made the Strip unlivable. While Israeli soldiers aren't inside of the Gaza Strip, it is still considered an occupation due to the crippling blockade and stranglehold of the Strip by Israel. In response to the events, a UK spokesperson said, Quote, we urge calm and restraint to avoid actions destructive to peace efforts. We must say, what peace efforts? It's been 70 years of injustice. And throughout those 70 years, Israel has continuously escalated its oppression of Palestinians and theft of land. Israel is the oppressive state, the only ones with the power to give freedom which they have taken. And instead of peace and justice, Israel has continued to build up a Jewish supremacist state suppressing and ethnically cleansing indigenous Palestinians and colonizing their land. The embassy moved by the United States to Jerusalem today is just another move to take land and make it a part of the Jewish state. Ivanka Trump and White House advisor Jared Kushner were in Jerusalem for the ceremony to celebrate the new embassy. Israel is a sovereign nation with the right to determine its own capital, the same right that is enjoyed by every other country in the world. What he means is the right to put its capital anywhere it wants, outside of internationally recognized borders, which is why people are protesting. This is just another part of Israel's colonization of land. The United States stands with Israel because we both believe in freedom. We stand together because we both believe in human rights. 
believe in human rights. Literally as he's saying this, people are being slaughtered for protesting Israeli oppression. It's been week after week of massacres, and the Israeli and American governments have the nerve to blame the victims for being massacred. As we have seen from the protests of the last month and even today, those provoking violence are part of the problem and not part of the solution. Thank you for watching. Please share this video and stay tuned to If Americans New for the latest news and analysis.